Hi guys, this is a review of the Lassie Thunderbolt 512GB Little Big Disc with dual SSDs in a RAID configuration. Very easy to set up, it's just a matter of connecting it to the power socket and then connecting the Thunderbolt cable from the drive to the Mac. On the front of the drive is the power LED which also acts as the on off button and it flashes when the drive is being accessed. There is some noise from the drive, it's not too bad, but it is noticeable when you're in a quiet room. It is louder than the fans in my MacBook Pro, for example. There's very little heat produced by the drive, the sides there are barely warm, so the fan in the back seems to be doing a good job of keeping the drive cool. So it's incredibly easy to set up. Once the Thunderbolt cable was connected to the Mac, the drive was recognized immediately and uh, mounted as a 512 gigabyte drive. And if we look in disk utility, we can see that it has been pre-configured as a striped RAID set, which is the best for capacity and speed. And it's formatted as macOS extended journal. So if you intend to use it on a Windows machine, you would have to reformat the drive first. And if we look in system report under SATA and SATA Express, we can see that the drive has been recognized and connected at six gigabits per second. And onto the speed tests now, I have a 4GB file in a RAM disk that I'm going to copy onto the external drive to test the write speed. And that took 10.82 seconds, which is 378.6 megabytes a second. Now for the read speed test, I'm going to copy the file from the Lassie drive into the RAM disk. And that was incredibly fast. That took 6.05 seconds, which is 677.02 megabytes a second. Now for the next speed test, I'm going to use Blackmagic Disk Speed Test, which is available on the App Store. And I'm just going to select the last C drive as the target drive. And as you can see, that's about 381, 382 megabytes a second for the write speed. And the read speed is around 618 megabytes per second. I let this test run for a few minutes and at the end of the test the average write speed was about 386 megabytes per second and the read speed was about 620 megabytes per second. So this is really an incredibly fast drive, it's the fastest drive I've ever used on my Mac. I also ran AJA system test as an additional test of the speed of the drive. And in this test, the write speed was about 380 megabytes per second, and the read speed was about 605 megabytes per second. Switching down to a smaller file size did reduce the read speed a little bit, but not by much. It was still around 600 megabytes per second. Looking at the I.O. transactions, it seems to peak at around 650 megabytes per second read and around 425 write, which is an extremely fast speed for an external drive. I also tried briefly daisy chaining two of these drives together as a four disc RAID 0 set. And with the two drives daisy chained, the read speed went up to around 810 megabytes per second and the write speed topped 500 megabytes per second. So a brief look at the results for the speed tests there.
So this is an excellent drive to use for video editing. I'm just using it here with Final Cut Pro 10 and as you can see the six speeds are phenomenal. There's no lag at all. I've been very happy with the performance of this drive and it's been rock solid. I've had no problems at all with it. Uh, before I got this drive I had the Seagate Thunderbolt adapter and the Seagate GoFlex drive and that drive would occasionally disconnect spontaneously without warning. And also it didn't have the additional Thunderbolt port which was a problem for me because I have a 2011 MacBook Pro which only has one Thunderbolt port. So when I was using the drive I couldn't connect my external display. But with this drive having the extra Thunderbolt port you can daisy chain up to six Thunderbolt devices. The only negative thing I could think of to say about this drive is the price. It's 719 euros from the Lissy website or 699 euros from the Apple website. So it's definitely not cheap, but for those people who need the extra speed that this drive offers, like people who do a lot of video editing on 1080p or 4K video, I think the price is worth it. So that's it for this review. Thanks for watching.